All right, guys, that'll do for today. See you back here tomorrow. Well, how's the beer? Warm. Fridge out again, huh? Looks that way. I'll have the guys look at it. You're doing a great job out there. Yeah, I saw. I mean, a uh, bit more paint and a bit more putty here and there and a new wall and we'll be ready to turn people away again. Yeah, maybe you will, pal. Count me out. Can't quit now. After all the work we've done, the commitments, this this tub is literally floating on blood, sweat, and tears. Well, relax, partner. You want me to take a nap, and you're thinking of quitting? Look, I'm not. I didn't say I was quitting. Well, what do you call it then? Bailing out, copping out, running out, vegging out. out, vegging out, vegging out. I'm going to take a two-week vacation. I, I, that's all. It's okay if, if it's okay with you. What is wrong? You look like Emma Lutz sweating over a crossword puzzle. You just never came across as the bucket and spade type. I know, it's a new concept for me, too. Have a beer. It's warm, but... A vacation. Would you rather I quit? Of course not. No, take a vacation. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I figured now's the best time. You're handling the workman beautifully. I'm really just in the way. It's kind of funny, isn't it? What, the warm beer? Well, that's... That's pretty pitiful. No, you're being worried about my quitting. I spent a lot of time worrying that you were going to take off, quit. Was I giving off those kind of signs? No, you weren't. It's just that I thought after all those years with the WSB that old poor Chuck here would be pretty tame for you. Well, I gave it serious thought for all of about a minute and a half. Guess I supplied a few thrills, huh? And a friendship. Well, so did uh, Tiffany and Jackie. Hey, listen, how's it going with Jackie? Jackie, huh? I don't know why you say that. Sounds like you might be falling in love. Are you falling in love? Well, what are the <laughs> symptoms? <laughs> the smile. <laughs> the constant turmoil. The, le the leer. Yes. The leer. <laughs> yes, the drooling on the side of your mouth. Salivating. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the victor's response. Hello, Dad. Yeah, spoiled. Well, we just went on a little shopping excursion. Indeed. We thought we deserved it. Yes, and Delphina actually let us open our own charge. She never was very bright. She never had any physical <laughs> sense whatsoever. Because we'll see what we got? Yes. No, I'm sorry, ladies. I'm not trying. Luke's in the middle of planning a vacation. Oh, oh how wonderful, darling. Oh. You know, I was thinking myself how wonderful it is in the South France this time of year, you know. It's actually very crowded, but mm -hmm. nice. Give me a week on the beach in California and I'd be happy. No, better yet, how about a raft trip down the Colorado River? Sounds terrific, but this is my vacation. Are you going along? Oh. That's a general idea, yeah. Have uh, uh, you decided where? I don't know, Robert. Somewhere void of people. Somewhere where I can think. Oh, you mean like Walden's Pond or something? Yeah, something like that. Back to basics. Oh, darling, I know some wonderful uh, resort areas down in the Catskills. No, I'm not. I, I'm not uh, thinking about any resorts. Uh. That only leaves camping. Dot dot dot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, Robert. Camping is great. I'll find a secluded little valley and I'll. What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with, <laughs> What's wrong with I that? I can't believe it. you lost your mind. I think so too. What are you talking about? People go camping all the time. Oh. People, people do. People. But you're not people, people. You're city people. You're going to be an urban disaster in the mountains. What are you going to do? Uh, trek around and your loafer is carrying your bed on your back. <laughs> oh, give me a break. I'm going to... No. I'm just... You know, I'm... I don't know. I'm going to find some clean air and a fresh mountain stream. And get lost. Yeah, get lost, really. Well, when are you leaving? Now it's as good a time as any. And a, I think it's a real good time, as a matter of fact. If I leave by tonight, I'll be at the base of the mountains by dawn. Hey, is this an executive meeting or us uh, go for advice? Oh, no, Luke is just telling us that he's going to go on a vacation. Well, yeah, where are you going? Hey, he's going camping, darling. <laughs> no, crap. You're going dog. Yeah, give me a little laugh at once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
not so bad. What do you say you and I go? I mean, we'll get one of those two-man sleeping bags, and we'll land to the stars at night and just count them and just lay around and mm-hmm. go. You'd love it. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding, Don? The closest I have ever come to camping, I think, was having cocktails on the Carlton Terrace and Carl. That'd be pretty camp, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, listen, anyway, I, I, uh, it's fine because I'm gonna have to, you're all going to have to stay here. I'm leaving the ship in your hands. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do now is I've got to go over and talk to Ruby and tell her what I'm going to do, and then I'll stop back here on my way. Don't get smart with me. Sorry, Captain. All right. With that profound thought in mind, I'm going back to the bar. Here's like a drink. Thank you. Thirsty? No. I've got to go on duty in a few minutes. Well, I don't know if I can trust a man who won't have a drink with me. And nobody trusts a cop with liquor on his breath. You got the money? You sure you can get it? Positive. All the stuff that goes out to the FBI lab is kept in Ramsey's office. They send it out every two days. Are you sure it's still there? Like I told you on the phone, it's been there ever since Weber brought it in. Whenever you drop in just out of the blue, it usually means trouble. Not anymore. <laughs> you mean not now? Well, and uh, not in the near future, I hope. I've decided to take a couple of weeks off. A vacation. <laughs> Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Ah. The real thing. Ah, and you came over to tell your Aunt Ruby that you're going to take her with you. Now, where are we going? London, Rome, Paris. Not so fast, Charlie. No, I'm going to do this one alone, kid. Oh. Yeah, so well, I'll take you to London, Rome, and Paris another time. I gotta go in the woods and I don't know, be alone. I guess me and Mother Nature. Uh, what resort are you staying at? The uh, Wildlife Hotel. No bellboys, no uh, room service, no plumbing, just sleeping bag and compass. <laughs> you camping? That's a hoot. Oh no! Wait a minute. What is this? Everybody's laughing at the fact that I'm going into the woods. Why? <laughs> I can go in the woods. Yes, but can you get out? That's the question. You'll get lost. Nothing in Elm Street has prepared you for wildlife. I'll pick it up. You know that expression? <laughs> Besides, I got last summer's island experience that uh, helped me out. Seriously, isn't this kind of sudden? Well, I guess it is. It's just that I need... I don't know. I need something different, you know? I need... I need... I need to be away from concrete and right angles. I need some air to breathe. And think, I hope. Yeah, try and clear out my head. I've been stumbling around for quite a while now on this revenge kick. And, uh, revenge is pretty negative, you know. So I need to find out who I am again, what I'm about, find my priorities, and hopefully straighten out my life. Spoken like a true Spencer. Is that all you're going to say? You don't think I'm going to talk you out of it. No, but I'm hoping for uh, some words of wisdom, a little antly advice. Well, I've got some very serious antly advice. Yeah. Get yourself an insect repellent, because mosquitoes are murder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave tonight. Would you uh, make my apologies to the party people? Of course. What do you think you're going to do when you get back? Well, so far, the only thing I plan to do is live my life, whatever it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> be a good boy. Uh, you be a good girl. Come on, you guys. This thing's heavy. Can I put it down? Yeah. Yeah. Come on up here. Why don't you put it down over there? Oh, that's a good place, bro. Yeah. That's a good looking table. It's wow. not dressed. Oh. It's a Tiffany. Well, of course it is, darling. <laughs> I never doubted it for a moment. Well, that's not fair, is it? Oh, well, who is it from? Well, well obviously, it's not. Obviously. My prince. Your prince? I thought he belonged to the people of Mount Cooth. Uh, uh, what does it say? It's personal, darling. Do you think I'm going to tell you parasites what he's doing? Oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, we're still the Mouseketeers. Oh, There's no secrets. Come on. Blab forth. Come on, come on. Okay, but you have to You're dying to tell us anyway. Please, die. Let's come All right. Silence, all right? Silence, right? Silence, right? All right. Silence, right? All right. My dearest Tiffany. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, right. All right. Okay. I'll be quiet. All right. Yes, quiet. My dearest Tiffany, 
Once again, duty calls, and I must take my leave. I only wish that I might have seen you one last time before my journey, for I know it would only make the miles back to my kingdom that much shorter. Please visit soon, and I promise to show you the magic of my Camelot. Oh, Camelot. Yeah, I listen, Gwenny. How did he sign it? Love, cheers, but Republican what? None of your business, darling. Oh, she had to oh, pay right. dish. Your devoted prince. Oh, that bozo knows how to lay it on thick. <laughs> your it sure it. does. <gasps> Is that real? Oh, it's magnificent. Well, it's nice to see I haven't lost my touch. Whoever said you did, one more rock for the pile, eh? Come on, pal, we've got some work to do. Yeah, boss, I know we're not wanted. <laughs> Uniform. I didn't do it for the credit. Now you can get your kids' teeth straightened. Yeah? See you around, Baldwin. Congratulations, kids. Go away, Blackie. Oh, I'll just fast. Oh, that's fine. Well, did he get off? Oh, look, fine. He's probably happily lost as we speak. <laughs> yes, but we gave him some going away gifts. Camping oh. equipment, I hope. Well, we couldn't let him go empty handed. Besides, we don't know what kind of trouble he could get himself into. You got that right. Bags and gloves and. Hey, would you believe that those kids want their own lockers? Oh, hey, I, you know, I was just talking to someone. I'm trying to get some second-hand lockers from the factory down the street, Becky. Oh, hey, that'd be terrific. And, you know, a couple new coats of paint wouldn't hurt none either. Excuse me, you two. Uh, do you have to talk about the sports center all night? Tonight is supposed to be pleasure, not business, right? With us, it's the same thing. Yeah. Ha, 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 great. How about a drink? Okay. See you there. Mm. I think Mike has just a bad hand. Mm. <laughs> well, I can sympathize with him. We have an early day tomorrow, too. Speak for yourself, dear. I'm going to sleep in. It's the first time in either. six months I don't have any nurses to worry about. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Uh, I think I see a little man who is just a bad hand. Would you like me to take you home? Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Can I, give, can I give you a lift? I'm glad I caught you. Excuse me. What's, what's wrong? Rick, the sponge is missing. I've gone through the whole department. It's nowhere. But it couldn't have just disappeared. No, it looks like it was stolen right out of the police department. Packy, you know anything about this? First I heard about it. Sure. Sure, I'm sure. I think you're lying. How many times does he have to clear himself with you, Doc? John, don't defend him. I'm looking out after your welfare. Yeah, well, Packy's looking out for my welfare, too. So please, just lay off. Hey, why don't you watch the way you talk you to Doc? You stay out of well, Don't tell me what to do, Pat. All right. Stay cool. Stay cool. He's trying to protect you, Doc. I like his attitude. Oh, this is turning into a great party. In another five minutes, it'll be a free for you. Look at the best idea after all. Get out of town before dusk. Where'd you come from? There's a door back here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I didn't even come in. Yeah, well, I walk softly and carry a big appetite. Do you have any specials tonight? Chicken fried steak. That sounds good. Only hold the drumsticks. <laughs> the what? It's a little joke. Real bad one, but chicken fried steak is fine. Coffee black. Evening, Wayne. The usual? Unless you got some of that apple pie left. Two scoops or one? Uh, I'll make a two scoops tonight. Been a long day. Two scoops it is. You up from the city? 
excuse me? You look like a New York fella. Yeah, poor Charles. Mm. Well, the city's a city, I always say. What brings you up here? Oh, well, I thought I'd do a little uh, hiking, camping. <laughs> Where? <laughs> a parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. The clothes are not exactly wilderness issue. There's no discos up here, son. Disco is dead, pal. Where have you been? <sighs> look, I know... I Look, I'm sorry. You know, it's just a little city humor. <laughs> now, the thing is that I, uh, I'll figure it out... I'd uh, find some other clothes. I'd be outfitted along the way or something. Oh, yeah? Well, you're in luck, buddy. Yeah? My brother-in-law happens to run the best clothing goods store in the state. Is it around here? Yeah. You pass it on the way in, that screen door to the right. Harry, you got a customer out here. Hey, Harry! All right. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, dear. You're too late. All the chocolate mousse is gone. You missed a delightful family dinner. We managed to make it through the whole evening without one single argument. I had to stay late at the hospital. Really? An emergency? No, I had a strategy meeting with my attorney. Oh, Helen. Do you really think it's worthwhile? I mean, the cost of attorneys these days is rather steep. Shouldn't you be saving your nickels and dimes for the settlement? There isn't going to be a settlement, Monica. Not a peaceful one, anyway. <laughs> you went too far this time, darling. Oh, I thought you'd be amused. I think that's very flattering of what's in it. Nothing's too low for you, is it? Nothing. I plan to strip you of every possession you have, you know. Your son, your house, your money, everything. Over my dead body. Don't make promises you can't keep. Don't make me angry, Monica, because I'll fight you twice as hard. Forgive me for not laughing. I'm not through yet, dear. Stay away from me. Open up this door, Monica, I'm gonna kick it down. How could I have been so stupid? How could I have married you? How could I have been so stupid? You haven't even fulfilled any of the duties of a husband. I paid for you, lady. I paid for everything. I paid for the clothes on your back. I paid for this house, everything. And you're going to keep on paying, you know. Even after this divorce is final, you're going to pay right off, down to the shirt off your back. You want the shirt on my back, lady? You can have what it. What are you doing? What the hell does it look like? No, you're crazy. You want the shirt, baby? Here, oh. you got the shirt. Here. Oh. What oh. else do you want from me, Monica? What else? Nothing. Nothing. What else do you want from me, Monica? Nothing. If you tell anyone about this, I'll kill you. I won't listen to me. Now, it's late. You've all had too much to drink. And this argument is not going to find what's missing. I'll second that. I suggest you go home and discuss it in the morning. Blackie, take the girls back to the boat. Please. Packy, I suggest that you and Johnny leave as well. Yeah, all right. Come on. Thanks, Scott. Wait. Greg, I will call you tomorrow and keep you informed of what's going on. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, Bird. Good night, Rose. Amy, I'm sorry. You ruined my party! I want Johnny to open his eyes, that's all. He didn't even say goodbye to me. He'll call you. He'll call you. I'm sure of it. Thanks a lot. Uh, would you like a lift? Yes, I'd appreciate that. Some night. You know, Luke wasted his time going to the mountains for his kicks. He could have stayed here and done it all. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Is this the same city slicker that walked in here a little while ago? Yeah, it's just about four hundred dollars poorer. <laughs> Nothing but the best for this mountain traveler. Uh huh. 
Do you remember that information I gave you on the directions to the end? Yeah, let's see. Four miles up the main highway, take the right fork of Maxwell's barn to the little creek on the road, mm, one mile on the left. What are you doing going to the end? I thought this was a camping trip. He's going to stay at the end tonight, honey, trekking to the recessed lakes at dawn. That's a good idea. Hiking at night can be dangerous. And don't you sleep under any dead trees. They could fall on you in the middle of the night, squash you like a bug. Oh, thanks. And remember what I told you about the bears. Yeah, right. Uh, I see when I climb a tree. <laughs> don't you listen to them, Luke. <laughs> Why, there hasn't been a bear seen around here in ten years. Still, it doesn't hurt to be ready, just in case. Look, you better get out of here before these guys start with their snipe stories. Well, all right. Nice meeting you all. Thanks for the help. Just doing my duty. After all, us not folk have an obligation to be nice to you city slickers. Without you, we couldn't pay our bills. <laughs> well, I think you just cleared the mortgage on this sale. I'll stop in on my way back. We'll be looking for you. Nice fellow for a city slicker.